question 32, the graph below shows how the arrangement of the bulbs in a circuit can affect the brightness of the bulb in each circuit when more bulbs are added. So the moment we have some data on the brightness of the bulbs, this leads me to recall the two concepts. One of them are bulbs in series and bulbs in parallel. So how would it change the results shown here, right? In order for us to visualize, let me draw for you a circuit diagram for a parallel circuit first. Okay, so let's say I have two batteries and then I have three bulbs. Okay, so how do we count the brightness of the bulbs? What I always tell my students is when you see an electric circuit, go and trace the diagram. So in this circuit here, in the red circuit, how many batteries do I have? Two batteries. How many bulbs do I have? One bulb. So two batteries, one bulb, means that the power given to this bulb here is two. Okay? So let me draw the next mini circuit that I have. Okay, so if you follow the black line, how many batteries do I have here? Two batteries. How many bulbs do I have in the black line? It is one bulb. So two batteries, one bulb, what do I have? The power is two, okay? The last one, let me use the green line to represent. In the green line, how many batteries do I have? I have two batteries. How many bulbs do I have? One bulb, so the power is also two. So what can you tell me about the brightness of the bulb then? If the power given to each of the bulbs are the same, then the brightness of the bulbs is going to remain constant. So from here, we can tell that this graph, graph X, represents bulbs in parallel. Okay, let's look at the second one. The brightness of the bulb slowly decreases. So let me give you a scenario. Okay, so let's say, same thing, we have two batteries, one bulb here. What's the power given to it? If you look at the previous setup, okay, using the same style of analyzing the question, we say that the power of two is given to this bulb here. But what happens now if we were to give two batteries and two bulbs in series? Right, in this circuit here, we'll have two batteries, two bulbs. Do they need to share? Yes, they need to share. So 2 divided by 2, each one will get a power of 1. What can you tell me about the brightness? The brightness decreases. If we have 2 batteries and 3 bulbs, so 2 divided by 3, each bulb will receive a power of 2 thirds. So it will be even dimmer than when there were 2 bulbs. So as you add more and more bulbs in series, what you notice is that the electricity has to be shared by the num the each of the bulbs that were added and the brightness of the bulbs will start to decrease. So this one here, graph Y on the right side, will likely to represent the series circuit. Okay, so for part A, based on the information given, state how the bulbs are arranged, series or parallel. X is parallel circuit and Y will be a series circuit. State how the brightness of the bulbs in each circuit can be measured accurately. Okay, so is it accurate to be using our eyes to measure? Perhaps not, right? Because we can compare to say that, okay, one bulb is brighter than the other, but if somebody were to ask how much brighter, you will not be able to tell how much brighter because how much brighter is really subjective to how your eyes receive the light. So a good way to determine how much light is produced by each of the bulbs will be to use a light sensor, okay? So use a light sensor with a data logger to receive the light and then we'll be able to measure the amount of light emitted by each of the bulbs accurately, okay? Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussion, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in 